So let's do a little evening skincare routine. I feel like this is one of my favorite skincare routines because you just get to lather yourself up in oils and hydrate yourself, you know? I'm gonna clip my hair back. And seeing as I am off to bed, I'll do a little bit of my hair routine that I do in the evenings. So we'll do it all. Um, let's start with makeup remover. The one I'm using at the moment is the Estee Lauder Cleansing Balm. So good at breaking down your makeup. I don't know why, this is a maybe a bit more of an oilier consistency um, than some of the other cleansing balms I've tried. So I just like it because it feels really, really hydrating and it just melts away your makeup so easily. Then I'm gonna put on, just before I take these off, these are the little skincare cuffs. I don't know if you guys remember, I spoke about these on my Instagram, but these are a game changer for when you need to wash your face so you don't get any drips down your arms. Honestly, one of the best things I've bought this year, I would say. So I tend to do one layer of cleansing, then I'll do some eye makeup remover. The one I'm using at the moment is just this Mary Kay, just randomly found it on Amazon. Um, no reason why I'm using this, except it's an oil-free one, which I just wanted to try. So I'm just gonna use this to remove any eye makeup that's left over. I've become obsessed with cleaning my eyes properly. I know that sounds like a really weird thing to say, but my lashes just seem to be not growing at the moment at all. And then when they do grow a bit, they sort of like break off. They're like really brittle which I don't know why it's happening. Um, so I've done a little bit of research and it says about like really making sure that you have cleaned your like eyelashes. So I do a little bit of a step with the eye makeup remover, but I don't rub my eyes. I just like sweep my eyes. And then I got this gel, which is called like, I Lentha gel, I don't even know. But basically it's for, I can't remember the, basically if you actually have like an eye condition, I don't know what it is, I don't, I don't actually have that, but it's just a really good gel for cleaning, like properly cleaning your lashes. So that's what I use next, just to really get in there and make sure that all the makeup has been removed and there's nothing left over. I've never exactly been blessed with like the best lashes, but I don't know why at the moment, they just seem to be, not great it's weird I, I can't work out if it's like the weather changes or whatever it is but it's bizarre i'm just gonna get a bit more of that cleansing balm and just go in for a double cleanse honestly cannot stress enough how important a double cleansing uh, cleansing double cleanse is if you don't do it um it's just you'll be surprised how much more you get off your face especially when you're taking off like makeup makeup you know if you haven't had any makeup on, you can maybe get away with not doing a double cleanse. I mean, I do it every day, but um, I know obviously time permitting and all that. But if you have a full face of makeup on, you're going to need to take it off properly, you know? Do you look how much is coming off still? Pretty really crazy. These are just these. I got these from um, Amazon. They're like towels to take your... Like, they're not a makeup wipe. They're just like a towel. Because basically, I just hate the idea about all the bacteria that sort of grows on like a face flannel. Um, and so I've switched to using these and I do feel like I've seen a difference in my skin. It just feels a lot cleaner. Once I started thinking about the bacteria that was on towels, I googled a bit about it and like the amount of bacteria that you get on like a face towel in like one day honestly blew my mind. It's a bit scary to be honest. So just made me think about that if you've got a face cloth that's been in your bathroom for two days that you might need to change that one and um, you know, I don't wanna, if I, if, it, if I feel like I'm talking to you, then maybe it's time to change your face wash towel. <laughs> um, anyway, so, right, now we're lovely and clean. Um, I'm going to use some of the, um, this is the Paula's Choice Exfoliating Liquid, which is just something I use pretty much every day, morning and evening, just to get like, it just makes my skin feel like it's had like a proper clean, you know? Do you feel like you get such a glow instantly from that face balm? Do you see what I mean? Just instantly feel really, really hydrated, which is nice. So I just leave that exfoliant for about a minute just to sort of settle into the skin and let it dry. So the next step is always my Skin and Me Daily Doser. I mean, by now it is absolutely no secret how obsessed I am with this product. Um, it's just become such a part of my skincare routine. I can't imagine not having it in my skincare now. Yeah, we're going on almost two years of using it and it's still 
still going strong, shall we say. So this is what it looks like. So down the side, you can see it's got these lines, and I think that's obviously why they've called it a daily doser, because you do a twist, like, oh my God. I knew it was being filmed. Um, you do a little twist, and then it comes out the top like that. So it basically only gives you the exact amount that you need for your skincare, which I think is also one of my favorite things about the Daily Doser. No waste product. You know what it's like with skincare products. You can get so carried away, can't you? And then using way more than you need. Whereas the best thing about that is you do not use any more than what you need. And I just think that's great. Plus, you know you're not like putting too much on your skin, because obviously, does does have active ingredients in it and obviously you don't want to be overusing those ingredients um, and I'm just honestly such a fan of it so I'm just gonna pop this on um, if you guys don't know if this is your first time seeing me talk about it you know you never know it might be so skin me is basically a personalized treatment plan where when you sign up to it you tell your skincare concerns and then they create a personalized doser for you. So mine was my breakouts coming off of the pill. Um, and it was just honestly like my pores became so visible when I came off the pill. Um, my skin was just breaking out left, right and center. So that's why I originally signed up, not expecting it to work as well as it did. And it's literally given me my pre, like what, pre? Just basically when I was on the pill, my skin was so clear and it's given that skin back to me, which I just am so happy about. The only times I really get breakouts now are hormonal, so like around my period. Um, but I just feel like even in the last maybe like six months, it feels like my skin has gotten even better. Um, and I just think it's the continued use of my daily doser that is just making all the difference. Um, as always, I do have a code for Skin and Me. It does change, so make sure you use this one. And that will get you your first daily dose for just 4 99 So if you're interested in trying it out, I mean, it's such a great price to just give that one a, give that one a whirl. Um, and I just don't think you guys will be disappointed if you haven't tried it yet. I really, honestly, you know me, I don't talk about anything that I don't really love or feel super passionate about. Um, and I'm just such a fan of it. It's honestly so good. Plus, if like me, one of your goals is like to reduce the look of pores, my pores were so visible before I started using the Daily Doser, and now, I mean, it's drastically reduced like the size of my pores. Like, I wish I'd taken like close up pictures of my pores before I started, but you know when you're like, you don't really want to document it. Um, but now I'm like, oh, it just looks so, so much better. Um, I can't believe how well it's worked. So if your like pore size is something that you personally find a concern, then definitely try Skin Me for sure. So always let my daily dose of sort of sit on the skin for about five minutes until it feels like it's sunken it in, which it does. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with some eye cream, which is the, I'm actually using the Estee Lauder Night Repair one at the moment. This one I love, because it's so thick, which I think is amazing for a night cream. Um, it just feels so luxurious, this one, I love it. Juicy and thick it is, I mean, it's literally like, hang on, let me try and get some out. Like, look at it, oh, it's just so great, like, honestly. It just feels almost like a mask when you're putting it on, but I absolutely love it. So I pop that one on. I mean, actually, sometimes I do put that on before my dose, so I feel like I've got excited. Um, but I don't put my, one thing with the obviously daily dose, so I don't put it anywhere near my eye area. So that's just something to keep in mind, you know, when you're thinking about applying it. So what have we got now? So we've done my eye cream. Right, now we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do some oil. And one thing, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today because I haven't even, this literally arrived this morning, but I'm trying to get into gua sha -ring. So I don't even know if it's, that's the, what we're calling it, but a gua sha, um, I, wanna, I wanna start using this. It's literally just arrived. I don't even know how to use the thing, but I'm gonna learn um, because I, the results that people are getting from this. So anyway, maybe this would become a new step. I'd put my oil on and then I'm gonna do this. But for now, um, I'll check back in in maybe a month when I'm an expert doing it. Anyway, oil, I'm gonna use the Evelon. This is the Renewal Treatment Oil. And then I'm actually also gonna put into it, just a little bit of that, um, some of the Tan Lux face drops so that I can wake up looking like a golden goddess because right now in the middle of winter, 
I am feeling the complete opposite. So I'm just gonna put two drops in. So I feel like two is the magic number for me with those. I don't wanna look, well no, I wanna look just healthy. Honestly, I don't know what it is about winter, but like, where does the color in your face go? The moment it gets cold, my skin just goes so pale. I don't understand. Now we're lovely and like, you know, dewy and shiny. And I, this is why I love a nighttime skincare routine, because you just feel so hydrated, especially using an oil. My favorite thing to use at night is an oil, rather than a moisturizer, just preference thing. But I don't know, I just love the way that I get into bed just feeling all slippery but like in a nice way. I almost forgot my lash serum, which is a very important part of life right now, as I said, with my lashes. I'm using the UK lash one at the moment, just bought it because I've seen a lot of TikToks and it looks like it works wonders. I hope these TikToks aren't lying to me because I'm putting it on every night and so far, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been using it for, I don't know how many weeks, maybe like four, three weeks, three weeks. So I guess I've got to be patient, but. I haven't seen anything wonderful yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. If you suddenly see me with amazingly long lashes, you'll know why. Um, but we shall see. I'm sure. I don't know, maybe I'm just not destined to have long lashes. Maybe I'm just destined to have long hair, because look at this. <gasps> She's like Rapunzel these days. I'm honestly like, <laughs> I felt like I was just doing a TV show, but like, the link to the hair just was too perfect there. Um, anyway, so hair. Also, I know that my hair routine, care update vibes, <laughs> hair journey update is probably what I'm trying to say, is my number one requested thing at the moment. I do hear you all and I promise you it is being filmed and will be up before the end of November. So it's coming. I'm not ignoring you all. I just haven't had, basically it's quite a lot of preparation that's going into the background of doing my hair journey update because there's been so many stages to it. So I feel like I'm literally, like I'm, pr I'm properly prepping for this video. I've written notes. I have to get in products that like I don't own anymore because I've used them in the past and, but I need them for the video. So yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of behind the scenes that's going into this hair video, but anyway, it's coming. So, but for now, we're just gonna do what I do pretty much every night. So this is the Nioxin Night Density Rescue. I mean, the growth that I have seen from this is crazy. There's not a day, really, unless I'm rosemary oiling, um, that I don't use this, especially around my hairline. It is like an absolute necessity. I mean, the growth around my hairline has honestly been crazy. I can't, I can't believe how much fuller my hairline is now. Plus, you honestly, like, it doesn't make your hair greasy at all. It goes in and it like makes your hair feel a bit wet, but then you wake up in the morning and it's like you haven't put any product in whatsoever, which I know is quite an important thing for some people, um, but this, honestly, you just won't, won't feel in your hair. Um, but yeah, look at the, look at my hair growth around my hairline. I mean, what? That's all new hair. Like, look at it. It's thick as well. I mean, it's proper baby hair. Like, it's a bit fuzzy, um, and it's, like, very soft, and I have to be very careful of it, because, obviously, it's quite prone to breakage when it's new. Um, but I'm just, I can't get over, I cannot get over how well it's worked. I'm such a fan of that product. And then I'm gonna put some oil in. Never do I go to bed without putting oil in my hair, honestly. I'm such a hair oil person now. So I'm gonna put in some of the Living Proof. This is the Freeze Vanishing Oil. I just love this one. It's so, I feel like my hair just drinks it up, but like in a good way. So I always put oil through the ends of my hair. You will never catch me getting into bed without doing hair oil, all those, all those night density drops. Basically, by the time I get into bed, Joe's fast asleep, because I've got, my routine for getting into bed now is like a whole thing, especially because gone are the days of just having a skincare routine. I've got a full hair care routine now as well. I think we're done. Skin is skinning. She's glowing. Look at this. The clear skin is really, really down to the daily doser. I mean, it has done exactly what I wanted it to do, and you guys have got to try it out. You really do. Um, yeah, so skin skinning, hair is herring, um, and I'm ready for bed.
I definitely meant to film an end to this last night, but I got sidetracked talking to Joe, and then when I went to edit this video, realised that I hadn't actually done one. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my evening skincare routine. As always, everything I've spoken about in the video will be linked below, and you've obviously got my code for Skin and Me if you want to try out the Daily Doser, then you can get it for just four ninety nine. If you have tried Skin and Me, do let me know because I would love to know how you guys are getting on with it. It'd be interesting to know if it's working for you. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.